winding a ball of wool. Grandad finished his cup of tea, winked at me, opened the newspaper, put it over his head, and went to sleep. Granny watched to make sure he wasn't pretending. What nonsense has your grandfather been filling you up with now? Oh, he told me how he invented the first road from Auckland to Wellington and built it with his false teeth in his wheelbarrow. Granny smiled. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. I'll bet he didn't tell you I invented the first railway from Auckland to Wellington. I shook my head. Your grandfather built his roads so badly, every time it rained, the mud was knee deep and the cars got stuck. In dry weather, everyone got car sick going round all the corners. So, I invented the railway. Hold that up there. That's right. I held my hands up with a skein of wool stretched between them. She wound the wool around and around. So fast, I could see the ball grow. Who carried the lengths of railway line? Granny nodded. My shoulders were much broader then. I carried those heavy lengths of steel and dropped them end to end, all the way from Auckland to Wellington, to make one line. Then, I rode my bike along it, carrying the other lengths of steel, dropped them from end to end and made the other line. It wore down my shoulders, carrying all that heavy steel. Can you come off? I was okay on a bike. Granny wound the wall faster. Not like your grandfather, he couldn't ride without falling off. Under the newspaper, Grandad snorted. I had to join all the links of the railway line together and bolt them to the sleepers. A million nuts to do up. A million? It was going to take ages. So, I unscrewed my right hand and put on a spanner instead. I rode my bike along one railway line with my left hand on the handlebars. One week to Wellington doing up the nuts on one side with the spanner and another week to ride back to Auckland doing up the nuts on the other line and the railway was ready for the first train. Grandad snorted and snored so loudly the newspaper flapped on top of his head as the last strand of wool ran over my fingers. And Granny finished winding the first ball of wool. Her hands were small with brown spots. Now I can knit your jumper. What did you do with the other hand? The one like a spanner? Hung it on a nail in the shed for years. The last time I looked, it had gone. Where? Your grandfather put it out with the rubbish. He was always jealous of my railway. Grandad gave a grumbling snort and seemed to be waking. I'm going to have 40 winks. Granny took off her apron. Don't go telling your grandfather what we've been talking about, Jack. He'll just say it's all lies. Granny went to her bedroom. There was a rustle as the newspaper slipped off Grandad's head. Grandad, did you know Granny invented the railway to Wellington? She had a hand like a spanner for doing up all the nuts. You don't want to go believing everything your granny tells you. Did I tell you about the time I invented the first train, drove it from Auckland to Wellington? I sat beside Grandad. Tell me. Look at the time. It's getting on. Your mother's going to be here at any moment to take you home. I'll tell you about the train next weekend.